Now to the race for the White House. The Republicans and Democrats are both preparing for crucial votes tomorrow as Donald Trump faces new questions over violent clashes erupting at his campaign rallies over the weekend. ABC's Tom Yamas is here with the latest. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. It is a new phase of this wild campaign. For months, Trump has called it a movement, but now there's a movement to stop him and disrupt his campaign events. The violence exploding at a critical time in this race as voters head to the polls tomorrow in Ohio. Ohio, Florida, and other states. Overnight, Donald Trump trying to show he's really a lover, not a fighter. And I love you people for being here tonight. Trump defending the decision to cancel a massive rally in Chicago. The chaos in Chi Town playing out live Friday night, from fistfights to people storming the stage. They're not protesters, they're disruptors. They're supposed to disrupt. Okay. The clashes between Trump and protesters pouring into the streets. In Kansas City, police maintaining order with pepper spray. Then this moment in Ohio, a protester charging towards Trump, scaring the candidate. Secret Service agents swarming. I was ready for him, but it's much easier if the cops do it. Don't we agree? Then this tweet from the Trump campaign, claiming the man is an ISIS supporter. Law enforcement officials say not true. Supposedly there was chatter about ISIS. All I know is what's on the internet. That protester Thomas DiMassimo telling CNN overnight he and his family have received death threats since that tweet. I'm not a member of ISIS. I have no known ties to ISIS. I've never been out of the country. I only speak English. Trump insisting the protest the uptick supporter, all folks, the work the of Bernie time. Sanders. Were you put in here by Bernie? Get out. Out. Overnight, Sanders firing back. Is that Donald Trump is literally inciting violence with his supporters. And Hillary Clinton. He is uh, trafficking in hate and fear. Trump's GOP rivals also sounding the alarm. The responsibility starts at the top. Do you support him as a nominee if, he, if he's the nominee? I don't know. It's getting harder every day. One person no longer in Trump's line of fire, Dr. Ben Carson. He endorsed Trump, and the pair's friendship spoofed on Saturday Night Live. Donald and I are very different. We're like night and day, ebony and orangey. <laughs> And we want to take you back to this very serious moment from the campaign trail last week. It's when a Trump supporter sucker punched a protester. You see it right there. That 78-year-old man was arrested. Trump was asked over the weekend if he would pay this man's legal bills. He says his campaign is looking into it. Robin, on the campaign trail, Trump has said he would pay for legal bills in situations like this. Very tense times. All right, Tom, thank you.